Great question I, I see from Andrea Brown. Um, we've discussed ways that larger organizations and corporations can invest in HBCUs, but what are some of the ways that smaller organizations and startups partner and invest in HBCUs? Oh my God, why aren't we best friends too, Andrea Brown? Um, I love this because part of what I keep trying to think about, is she related to you? <laughs> No? Yeah, let's okay. say so. Okay. Um, <laughs> part of what I think is really important when, when you think about investing is figuring out a brand match between the investor and the investee, as it were. And because Bennett is nimble, sometimes I say it's, it's like running a startup. And I was on a panel the other day with, <laughs> not a panel, I was at a conference with, with um, the CEO of Jet Magazine. Jet's still a thing, everybody. Um, and he said, he said, I'm running a, I think they're like 75 years old, a 75-year-old startup. And I was like, fantastic. I'm running a 150-year-old startup. And I do a lot of ideas that I get about what we can change about our business model at Bennett, I actually really do get from startups. So I think one thing that I would love um, for startups who are interested is, you know, just Again, like what have you learned as a startup? How do you operate a very lean model where you're able to um, constantly have to adapt and adjust? That's what we have to do at Bennett. Like that's what we are, co that we are constantly doing that. So I think there's a really um, a great opportunity for sharing knowledge as well as sharing dollars. Like they're both of those things I think would be fantastic. Uh, and some of, some of what we talk about with SFI a lot is also how do we share some back office um, resources. So I say that because, again, I think when I think about startups being scrappy, you figured out how to do some of this back. You don't necessarily all run all your all your own back office. I mean, maybe you do, but I think there are lots of models that we've been exploring with SF5 for, for ways to um, be able to outsource some of that. So I think there's business model ideas we can get and also, um, as I said, you know, financial investment.